Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'd like to show you how to create a cool and powerful bass drop in around 1 or 2 minutes. Now before we begin I just need to mention that I asked this question on the Sound Design Facebook group about a year ago and a gentleman whose name I'm not gonna mention for privacy purposes gave me the best answer of all times and I'm very grateful for that and I just wanted to spread the word and show you how it's done. So let's get into it. What we're going to do is make a selection of around 10 seconds, come here to Audio Suite, Other, and Signal Generator. Let's go with 160 Hz and the Square Wave. So now what I'm going to do is apply a pitch shifter. I'm going to go with GRM Pitch Accumulator because that's going to spice up the character of the sound instead of being monotonous and just square wavy like sound so I'm gonna hit play okay let's go with this for now next I'm gonna apply a load pass filter at 160 Hertz so it sounds like this that's gonna be followed by a harmonic distortion Let's go with Sensamp. And let's choose Screaming Lead. Let's go with this for now. Next, I'm going to duplicate this low pass filter. It sounds like this. That's going to be followed by Max Bass. So I'm just going to spice up the low end quite a lot. And now, all we need to do is apply a graphic pitch shifter. So that's going to be a Waves Sound Shifter graphic. Now, there are two ways that you can experiment with. The first one is by just decreasing the pitch, and the other one is by decreasing the pitch and increasing the time. So I'm just going to duplicate this file, keep it right there. And for this one, I'm just going to lower the pitch, and I'm going to apply this process, say, four times. And this is how it sounds like. I'm just going to change the harmonic distortion. That's more like it. Let me just change the pitch shift as well. That's better. Right, so this is how it sounds like now. And now for this one, I'm just going to increase the time as I decrease the pitch. So it's going to sound something like this. And I'm also going to process this around four or five times. And this is how it sounds like. And that is pretty much it. Of course, the situation where you'd apply either one of them is gonna vary, but you get the point and it works great, right? If you happen to be the person who replied me about a year ago and actually remembered the question, thank you very much. It was super helpful and I still use this technique to date. But anyways, thank you for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. And as always, I wish you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. See ya!